Hey everybody, and welcome to the weekly show. I'm Kyle Melnick. And I'm Jenna LaCarrie. Now, right off the bat, let's just make something perfectly clear. I know some of you might be confused, or it might be a little hard to tell. No, I am not Chuck, and no, that is not Bonnie. <laughs> just double check, I know it's a little confusing at first. They have graciously bowed off of the show and opened it up to like these little monthly long contests to kind of see who is going to replace them for the show in its entirety. And me and Jenna are going to be doing the month of October, so sorry about that. Um, but so let's try and get a little bit like a little interview thing going here just to give people a little bit of an idea okay. of who we are and why they should vote for us and not everyone else and why we're better. <laughs> Jenna? How old are you? Where are you from? Um, well, I'm going to be 20 in a week, and I'm from Holbrook. Okay, cool. Which is a little, a little far, but it's all right. And I'm going to school right now and uh, working full time. There you go. What about you? Um, my name is Kyle. I'm 23. I had to double check that. That's pretty sad. <laughs> um, I'm currently working a couple jobs right now. One, this place is one of them. Everyone here has been amazing. I like long walks on the beach, oh, breakfast nice. in bed, um, flower petals on the you know, normal stuff for yeah. any romantic person. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is, I love being here. This is a fantastic opportunity. And um, yeah, so what did you do this weekend? Just an idea of what you do for fun. Um, I went to the Paramount in Huntington. Oh, the one, the venue? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, Carly Acolino was there. From oh, Girl Code. Oh, Girl Code, yeah, I know yeah, she is. Yeah, with the red hair. Uh -huh. She actually dyed it, it's pink now. Oh. But she's still very funny, and um, I got to go backstage, and I, there's a whole speakeasy bar in the back. Is it really? Yeah. That's crazy. I've been there, but I've never seen that. Yeah, it's like, um, it's kind of, it's like hidden, and you have to like ask about it, obviously. Yeah, makes sense. Speaking but um, once you get back there, there's all these like secret bars, there's um, like, it looks like a bookshelf, and if you yeah. push it, it's like an entire room. It's like the size what? of a set. Yeah. That's awesome. I know the place is so small, because it's like a really intimate venue, but yeah. it makes sense. They have all that hidden stuff. Yeah, That's it's really awesome. cool. It was yeah. a good show, too. That's cool. I wish my weekend was that eventful. I babysat my friend's three-month-year-old Maltese, oh. who pooped everywhere in my house, and I'm still finding it, so it's awesome. Just oh. going to the shag carpet and finding those little presents. And uh, yeah, we both just kind of sat down and cried over Derek Jeter retiring. Oh, which was, yeah. Very mm, sad. It hurts, but if you watch that Gatorade commercial on TV, it hits me every time. <laughs> I, don't cry. I haven't like, seen that yet. Oh, my God. It's so sad. It's absolutely it? devastating. You could be like a Red Sox fan, and you still watch it, and you're like, oh. Yeah, Jeez, I've awesome. seen a lot of um, my friends are, I'm a Yankee fan, but a lot of my mm -hmm. friends are Mets fans. And they're posting, they're like, this is so sad. Yeah, even the Red Sox people, <laughs> everyone loves Jeter. That's the yeah. best part. Like, you can hate him, but you got to respect him. Yeah. A little bit. But um, <laughs> today on the weekly show, we have Spotlight Long Island with Judy San Roman. Last week, this week with Rick Eberly and stupid news from around the world, including how to smuggle turtles without a box. We're going to need to elaborate on that. What parents are doing to get their children extra credit in school and the new Harry Potter book. But first, stupid news. In Arizona, uh, Walter Earl Morrison, a 20-year-old UPS employee, was fired when it was discovered he stuffed a package that he thought was full of cash under his shirt while unloading a plane in the cargo section of a Phoenix airport. He looks like someone that would oh. do that. <laughs> he later discovered, instead of cash, that the package actually contained a diamond valued at $160,000, which he promptly traded for a $20 bag of marijuana. That's good weed. That's Morrison good weed. was arrested soon after the theft, and the diamond was retrieved and returned to its rightful owner. Okay, so that's pretty shut in book as far as stupid crimes go. Right, More yeah. or less, yeah. I mean, number one. He just really wanted pot, and I hope that was really good weed, or at least he got to smoke it before they arrested him. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Pretty interesting crime, though. If you had to get arrested, that's going to be pretty cool That's in a pretty cool story to before tell. Before they tear you apart, it's yeah. like, yeah, I'm that guy that stole turtles. <laughs> interesting. Researchers at a Swiss university said this year's Giant's Penis Blossom, that's actually, I said that correctly, Giant's Penis Blossom is the largest the plant has bloomed since it started flowering in 2011. There are so many puns in there, I can't even handle it <laughs> between flowering and bloomed. <laughs> Scientists at the University of Basel's Botanical Garden announced Sunday the giant's penis blossom, an exotic plant native to the Sumatra Equatorial Rainforest in Indonesia, bloomed to a height of 100.4 4 inches, besting its previous blooms of 90.6 inches in 2012 and 80 inches in 2011. That's huge. Look at that picture. Oh my, I mean, it looks wow. nothing like a penis, but that's still impressive. <laughs> wow. 
Data for last year's bloom, if it had one, was not released by the researchers. The world record for a giant's penis, or Titan Aram, was set in 2003 when researchers at the University of Bonn in Germany unveiled a 107.9 inch high bloom. What I don't understand is they have a separate name for it. Why do you need to call it a giant's penis? I don't know. They have several different names for it, but yet they went with that one. And that's the <laughs> Someone's preferred yeah. is running this kind of terminology. <laughs> the plant is also sometimes known as a corpse flower for the unsavory odor it emits during flowering. The smell has been compared to the odor of a rotting corpse. This just sounds like the worst Ew. plant ever in the history of plants. My <laughs> God, that's disgusting. Ugh. Well, McDonald's is getting in on Japan's current black burger trend with a sandwich featuring a bun darkened by squid ink. The squid ink burger, which hit the Japanese market just over a week after Burger King introduced a pair of pitch black burgers to its Halloween menu, costs $3.40 and features two patties covered with fried onions and cheese between buns that's darkened with squid ink. Wait, that's what it's darkened with? Yeah. Is yeah. squid ink? Yeah. That's not toxic? Um, the whole thing, look at that. It, it looks, looks toxic. Plastic. Yeah, look at the cheese. Uh, it looks like a radioactive meltdown was put on a burger. Wow. And then they found like two rotting buns and said, hey, this would be good for Darth Vader. I don't think I would Wars. eat that. I, that's where I saw it for. I think they're doing the same marketing in the US for Star Wars, and the black burger <laughs> is like for Darth Vader. I'm not even kidding. I no, think it's actually that makes that. more sense. I don't know who would eat that, but good luck with that. Well, unlike the Burger King creations, which were darkened with bamboo charcoal and feature pitch black cheese, the McDonald's sandwich maintains its traditional yellow cheese color. I don't think that makes it much better. No, it does. <laughs> if anything, that makes it worse, yeah. having everything be black, and then you have this one weird yellow layer. <laughs> <laughs> the buns are also less black than the Burger King versions, coming out to more of a dark brown. McDonald's also introduced a second Halloween item, a chicken filet with a camera bird, and it falls short of spooky with its normal colored bun. I didn't even know they had Halloween menus. Yeah, I like how they're like <laughs> disappointed that it's a normal colored bun. Like, oh no, it's normal, it's average, so we, you know, stay away from it because we have like burger that's made of black. Fantastic. I never noticed they changed the menus. Yeah, right? I'm kind of glad. <laughs> well, the Disney Sea theme park in Tokyo has also gone into the black and Halloween food game with a black sausage hot dog. Oh, so there's a black sausage, too. Hmm. Now, that's a pun, following the <laughs> flower pun over there, but that's absolutely great. <laughs> so they're selling black. I mean, this isn't surprising because Japan has some of the grossest stuff. Like, they sell machines in Japan, like vending machines for soda, that have used panties in them that you can get. No, they don't. Yeah, 100%. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna and pull people buy those? Break. Yeah. I mean, weird people. And they have them like... Where do they get them from? They have them, like, in the shopping malls. That's the best part. Like, you can go to a normal shopping mall in Japan where they'll have like a McDonald's selling that black burger crap, and then to the left of that, they'll have a vending machine that sells <laughs> soda, like some kind of weird food. In one machine. In one machine. It's some, like, some kind of weird sushi candy. There. Yeah, and then they'll have used panties that you can buy. Where do they get the panties from? That's a really good question. Do they donate it, you think? I don't know. <laughs> I, what'd you say? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Well, we'll take a quick break and be right back with Spotlight New York with Judy San Roman how not to charge your cell phone, and much, much more right after this. So stay with us.
InRavio.com wants you. InRavio provides the best in TV, film, post-production, and so much more. And we're growing. Right now, we're looking for a team of pros that can join us. So what are you waiting for? We need show hosts, production crew, marketing gurus, sales experts, audio engineers, lighting, visual effects, and camera crews. We want you. Go to InRavio.com backslash join the team. Transmission of lice occurs from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like catching a cold or a flu. You have guaranteed peace of mind in every bottle of Got Lice because all of our products are completely natural. And organic. But strong enough to cover all your lice removal needs while being safe and effective. Our professional technicians are specially trained with our exclusive proven technique to successfully comb out head lice. We come right to your home at your convenience. Whenever you want us. We bring everything needed to perform a successful and complete comb out while eliminating your head lice. And we leave you with our exclusive complimentary products to use for the next 10 days following our treatment for free our technicians also check all family members who have been exposed to lice please visit us on our website today at gotlice.co or feel free to call 24 hours a day seven days a week at 646-257-0121 Chris and Jake, and if in Ravio.com spots you at an event wearing this bracelet, they will give you $100. Hey everyone, it's Jenna LaCari. Make sure you vote for me on in Ravio.com slash in Ravio Weekly. For over 60 years, Hanson Carpet has put the customer first, providing only the finest quality products and service. And Hanson Carpet is so much more than just carpet. We also carry a wide selection of window blinds and shades, and our licensed and insured technicians can service any of your flooring or window covering needs. Browse our huge selection of laminate, carpet, linoleum, vinyl, and tile. Stop by our showroom today or visit HansonCarpet.com. No matter what your project, Hanson Carpet has got you covered. and we're still in the town of Huntington here at Acacia with my friend Maria and um, just a wonderful place I visited several times happy hour weekends it's a great venue and uh, Maria would you share with us what is your favorite drink of choice and what's in it uh, my favorite drink of choice is the detox it has a nice cucumber vodka nice crisp flavoring little pineapple juice perfect for the summer weather I gotta try that next time oh, <laughs> what about food what do you like here Favorite is Muscle Pots. Everyone raves about them. They are delicious. There are many varieties, so you have to keep coming back to try all of them. 
Okay, sounds good. So when you guys are in the town of Huntington, come down to Acacia and uh, visit Maria and uh, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yummy wine. Thanks so much for that. That place looks really cool. It does. I know we're supposed to say nice stuff about it because it's on the show, but that actually looks really nice. It is. It's like a nice place to go, Upscale. like on a date or something. Mm -hmm. it's Velvet very rope, nice. mixed drinks. Anyway, let's get back to some news right now. A Canadian who was caught at the border with 51 live turtles stuffed down his pants is facing charges in the U.S. over an alleged reptile smuggling operation. That sounds fake. Wow. Like out of a movie. Oh, US, look at the turtle though. Oh, that's horrible. U.S. federal court documents show officers with the Canada Border Services Agency intercepted Shu Kai as he attempted to cross into Windsor, Ontario from Detroit. Kai had 41 turtles taped to his leg and 10 hidden between his legs. Wow. I can't, oh my God. Is there, there's not a picture of that, right? I can't physically even imagine that. That How you would tape that many turtles. So many, the poor turtles. That's like the loosest baggy pants you could possibly wear. Unless That's it was so like little sad. baby ones they were showing. Oh my God. <laughs> Canadian authorities <laughs> seized, it's not funny. Canadian authorities seized the turtles, which included North American varieties such as Eastern box turtles, red-eared sliders, and diamondback terrapins, some of which sell for 800 each and turn them over to American officials. So there's like some underground turtle black market. Mm. in which you can trade turtles. That's awesome, I gotta get into that. Sha uh, Shu and his partner, Lin, appeared in federal court in Detroit charged with smuggling, illegal trading, and exporting. They could face up to 10 years in prison if convicted. Wow. The two men have other criminal cases, uh, smuggling cases pending as well, including an attempt to smuggle 200 North American pond turtles into China, where the turtles are prized as both food and pets. These have a history of stealing uh. turtles. <laughs> they have like a turtle stealing fetish. Wow. That must like be a, some kind of booming that's some business, record to right? have. That mo money must be good if you're stealing turtles. Wow, okay. <laughs> the Los Angeles Police <laughs> Department is warning smartphone... Oh, I'm sorry, that's your story. <laughs> Go. The Los Angeles Police Department is warning smartphone users who may not be so smart to avoid trying to charge their iPhone 6 by putting it in a microwave. <gasps> I actually heard about this. Is that true? Yeah, my sister tried to do it. Oh my god, that's so fun. Oh, yeah. is that the picture? Yeah. Someone <laughs> went out of their way to make that look real. Mm -hmm. Really, I mean, I know a lot about that kind of stuff, and that might even fool me. Wow. Well, it gets better. The LAPD said on its Twitter account, iPhone 6 users should be wary of fake online ads claiming the latest Apple software update, including a function called the Wave, that allows the smartphones to be charged by cooking them in a microwave. That's a good name. That's a really the good wave. name. That's an absolutely like Apple would patent that kind of name. <laughs> well, this wave c capability is a hoax. So don't be fooled into microwaving your iPhone 6s, Apple smartphones, the department's tweet read. Brian Humphrey, spokesman for the Los Angeles Fire Department, said no metal object should ever be placed in the microwave. Even a little tin foil can cause a fire. So that much metal from, an, from a phone could lead to some manner of explosion. I didn't even think about it, not putting foil in a microwave. Well, yeah, you can't even put a, like a metal fork in the microwave. Why would the, you think it's I okay? Knew I didn't know the foil part. That just, I shouldn't be allowed cooking materials. <laughs> a Chinese county is offering high school entrance exam bonus points to students whose parents donate more than a gallon of blood. The Pujang County government issued a directive this year stating the children of blood donors who reach the one gallon mark will receive a bonus point on their high school entrance exams. And the total goes up to two points for those whose parents donate 1.5 gallons and three points of children whose parents donate two gallons. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> That's legal in China that you can do that? That seems very unfair that you can just kind of cheat depending on how much blood you have. I mean, if you're not good at your, that school, though. Oh, you're not good at school, <laughs> that's so I'm one just way. good at containing blood. That's one way to get through it. The Kiangzheng Evening News said it would take about five years for an adult who donates blood twice a year to reach the one gallon mark. That's actually untrue. A blood donation is one pint. There are eight pints to a gallon, so it would take four years. And that was written because I am terrible at math, <laughs> and I don't want to lie to anybody. 
The county government is also offering blood donors incentives, including reimbursement for medical bills, free rides on public transportation, and cash payouts. So we kind of do that a little bit here in the U.S. Mm. That, sperm, all that stuff, any bodily fluids. So it's not that weird, except they can't really get a college credit for it. Yeah, but they're getting their like, kids involved in it. True. Uh. <laughs> that is China. Uh. The policy was publicized when a 28-year-old man on social media site Weibo celebrated reaching the one gallon mark by saying, because of this policy, I donated so much blood that I have put my life at risk and want to tell my future son, no worries with the high school entrance <laughs> exam, dad has already got you bonus marks. That's wow. what I was talking That's about. That's a good dad. That's really messed up. <laughs> That's really messed up. I, so the poor kids whose parents don't, they probably feel like, you know, so like unloved. Yeah. Well, Billy's parents donated <laughs> half their blood content so he can get into school. What have you done? Wow. That's what the kids are going to be saying now. In local news, a New York mail carrier accused of hoarding more than 40,000 pieces of undelivered mail blamed depression and alcoholism for this behavior. Authorities said Joseph Bricado admitted to keeping more than 2,500 pounds of mail, which dates back to 2005. And he told the court during his arraignment his alcoholism and depression were to blame for this behavior. Wow. Oh, it's responsible. <laughs> Yeah. No Landlord worries. Bruno Hanovic told the New York Post it took a group of five postal workers about five hours to clear all of the undelivered envelopes out of Brucato's apartment. Wow. <laughs> Magistrate Vera Scanlon released Brucato on his own recognition and ordered him to abstain from excessive alcohol consumption as a condition of his, of his release. So some people get angry when they're drunk, and then other people get sad. And some, some people, people just get, steal your like, mail. Some people just steal your mail. It happens. Yeah, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> Bucato, who started with the U.S. Postal Service in 2001, has been suspended, <laughs> go figure, with pay pending the outcome of the case. He could face up to five years in prison. A, represent a representative for the Postal Service said mail carriers will attempt to deliver the items recovered from Bucato's home, vehicle, and locker. It's a little late for that, if yeah, you ask right? me. Yeah, right? Like, what do you say? Like, hey, so this mail, what? From 2005. Yeah, that's a long time. Oh my God, that's a lot of mail. That is. How many pounds did it say again? A ridiculous amount for mail. Like 2,500 pounds, I think. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, a 22-year-old Angela Coates is being praised on social media for her sexy mugshot after being arrested for disorderly conduct in Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> the Florida model has had several admirers offer to pay her $360 bail. Angela was quoted as saying, I actually didn't even go into jail jail. I didn't even get into one of the orange jumpsuits. I was in holding for about 13 hours. It was kind of funny, but at the end of the day, it's still very serious to me because I take my career very seriously and my life very serious. It was the worst experience. It really was. Well put. Wow. <laughs> Coates is not the only one to have a sexy mugshot, however. In June, Jeremy Meeks had his mugshot go viral after it was also deemed sexy. I remember that. That was all over Facebook. I do Every girl that. in my Facebook feed was talking about that guy's face. And then they showed like three other pictures that weren't that mugshot, and it turns out he was not so sexy. But I think he got a modeling contract, didn't he? Did he? After that? Yeah. I think he got bailed, and then because it got so big on Facebook, he got a contract because of it. Wow. Yeah, That's talk about upsetting. rewarding him. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to take a quick break and be right back with Last Week and This Week with Rick Eberly, the new Harry Potter book, and a breakfast dish you have to see to believe. Stay with us. Transmission of lice occurs from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like catching a cold or a flu. You have guaranteed peace of mind in every bottle of Got Lice because all of our products are completely natural. And organic. But strong enough to cover all your lice removal needs while being safe and effective. Our professional technicians are specially trained with our exclusive proven technique to successfully comb out head lice. We come right to your home at your convenience. Whenever you want us. We bring everything needed to perform a successful and complete comb out while eliminating your head lice. And we leave you with our exclusive complimentary products to use for the next 10 days following our treatment. For free. 
Our technicians also check all family members who have been exposed to lice. Please visit us on our website today at gotlice.co or feel free to call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 646-257-0121. The world of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, Inravio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is Inravio.com. For 60 years, Hanson Carpet has put the customer first, providing only the finest quality products and service. And Hanson Carpet is so much more than just carpet. We also carry a wide selection of window blinds and shades, and our licensed and insured technicians can service any of your flooring or window covering needs. Browse our huge selection of laminate, carpet, linoleum, vinyl, and tile. Stop by our showroom today or visit HansonCarpet.com. No matter what your project, Hanson Carpet has got you covered. Hey, this is Chris and Les Jake, and if Inravio.com spots you at an event wearing this bracelet, they will give you $100. Hey, guys, this is Kyle Melnick over at The Weekly Show. Make sure you vote for me over at Inravio.com slash Inravio Weekly. Transmission of lice occurs from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like catching a cold or a flu. You have guaranteed peace of mind in every bottle of Got Lice because all of our products are completely natural. And organic. But strong enough to cover all your lice removal needs while being safe and effective. Our professional technicians are specially trained with our exclusive proven technique to successfully comb out head lice. We come right to your home at your convenience. Whenever you want us. We bring everything needed to perform a successful and complete comb out while eliminating your head lice. And we leave you with our exclusive complimentary products to use for the next 10 days following our treatment. For free. Our technicians also check all family members who have been exposed to lice. Please visit us on our website today at gotlice.co or feel free to call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 646-257-0121.
Hey everybody and welcome back. Well, let's cut to a new segment right now, or a segment that's been going on for a while. It's called Last Week and This Week with Rick Everly. Basically, Rick takes us on a quick segment where he kind of talks about what happened last week as far as arts, entertainment, media, anything that could possibly interest you. And then he talks about this week, what's going on this week. So let's take a quick cut to him and see what he has for us. What's happening, Long Island? Here's what happened last week and coming up for this week in entertainment. Some brief highlights from last week. We had Steve Earle and Sean Colvin at the Space in Westbury, and Long Island's Nick Tangora Band opened for Fifth Harmony at the Paramount in Huntington. This week at the Space, we have the Live Fly Clothing DJ Battle Party with no cover, 21 and over, on Thursday, October 2nd. Then over at the Emporium Hatchog, we have Thursday, Jimmy and the Parrots, a tribute to Jimmy Buffett with guests the Eddie Trap. That's another show, 21 and over. Then on Friday at the Emporium, they have 45 RPM, playing cheesy hits from the AM dial, and O.L. Amore, the masked lovers return. Doors at 6 p.m., again, at the Emporium. That's theemporiumny.com. Also at the Emporium, Saturday night dance parties returning for season three with celebrity DJs spinning house, hip hop and rock, and Amp 92.3's DJ Toro spinning with J. Remy. Party starts at 10 p.m. Next week at the Paramount, we got Limp Biscuit with special guest Machine Gun Kelly and Black Ceiling. That's on Monday, October 6th. Then we got Def, he uh, Def Heaven, <laughs> Crypto Dira, and Johnny Booth at Revolution Music Hall in Amityville. Doors are at 7 o'clock. That's a 16 and over show. Also at the Revolution, we got Face the King with my friends Midnight Mob, Sharks in the Shallows, and Notes from the Underground. And that's only $12 admission, guys. Some great stuff happening on Long Island. I'm Rick Eberly. Connect with me on the weekly show page here on inradio.com. And for free tickets to these and other great events, visit the contest tab after the show. Back to you guys. Thank you, Rick. Wow, there's a lot going on in this area. Don't forget to check out the contest tab and enter to win tickets to the shows Rick was talking about, and many more for the Paramount in Huntington, the Emporium in Patchogue, Revolution in Amityville, and the Space in Westbury. And I think, uh, do you know what's going on there this weekend? I think Emporium has um, O.L. Amore on Friday in 45 RPM, which is, uh, I believe, an 80s cover band. Oh, well. No, and no, no, no. then Saturday, they have DJ Toro. Ah, oh, DJ Toro is really good. Highly recommend you guys check him out if you can get tickets. Definitely enjoy that contest. Lots of good prizes. InRavio.com wants you. InRavio provides the best in TV, film, post-production, and so much more. And we're growing. Right now, we're looking for a team of pros that can join us. So what are you waiting for? We need show hosts, production crew, marketing gurus, sales experts, audio engineers, lighting, visual effects, and camera crews. We want you. Go to InRavio.com backslash join the team. Unless Jake and if in radio.com spots you at an event wearing this bracelet, they will give you a hundred dollars. Hey everyone, it's Jenna LaCarry. Make sure you vote for me at facebook.com slash in radio weekly.
Christian mother is rewriting the Harry Potter series to make the books more family friendly and promotes her own values instead of those of witches. The woman who identified herself as Grace Anne and uses the username Proud Housewife on fanfiction.net said she started writing Hogwarts School of Prayer and Miracles to give her children a chance to read the Harry Potter series, or at least something vaguely similar to the series. That is absolutely insane. That's like insulting to J.K. Rowling. A little bit, yeah. I mean, I know people like burn books. I'd almost them rather do, do yeah. that than adapt That's them. a very odd title as That's, well. Yeah, it doesn't sound appealing at all. I don't think anyone would ever read that in no. the library. Grace Ann's quote on the site reads, My little ones have been asking to read the Harry Potter books. And of course, I'm happy for them to be reading, but I don't want them turning into witches. Is that a legit oh quote? Oh my god. Yeah? Wow. Wow. She legitimately thinks you're going to turn into witches. That's unbelievable. Just by reading. I know a lot of That's Christians, funny. but I don't think witchcraft is part of that religion, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, so she says, but I don't want them turning into witches. So I thought, why not make some slight changes to these books are family friendly. Well, why wouldn't you just give them something else to read? Yeah, I mean, and how is Harry Potter not family friendly? I mean, like, nobody really dies in it. entire series? Yeah. I mean, it's That's clearly a joke. But crazy. I mean, and you gotta have a lot of free time to rewrite all those books <laughs> How many that books are family there? friendly. So like five? So the Harry Potter books? It's, uh, there's like five or six. Five. five. Five, I think. I don't know. The changes Grace Anne discussed include altering independent-minded character Hermione to be modest and obedient, while Dumbledore was made into a reverend who was married to a woman, probably because it was well known that J.K. Rowling's original intent was for Dumbledore to be gay. Oh my God, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. That is I just thought the same thing when you said the that. The only experience I have from Harry Potter was literally walking up to go see the last movie in the theaters, and while I was online, an earlier showing got out, and the guy walks out and goes, Snape kills Dumbledore. And then I everyone in the line just turned right around and asked for their money back. That's well, the only experience I had. I've never. I saw the first one, and that was it. I lost interest. Unbelievable! And now they're trying to Maybe make I'd Hermione like the into a housewife. <laughs> Doesn't that piss you off? Like that they're making yeah. Hermione into like? That's. Because like, she was like the, the coolest character. The opposite of what the original characters yeah, were meant to be. That's messed up. I mean, thank Christian values. An excerpt from her rewrite reads: "What is a Christian?" Harry queried innocently and scuffed his shoe on the shaggy yellow carpet which had not yet been vacuumed in quite some time. Christians are people who want to be good, Hagrid explained wisely, and crouched down so he was on eye level with Harry. Quote, we want to go to heaven after we die. Do you know what heaven is, Harry? This is getting really creepy. This is. I read the first book and it's getting really creepy because that scene was already kind of creepy with some big dude talking to like a little kid, like stranger-wise, and now they're adding all these like religion, religious undertones to it. Yeah. That's freaking me out a little bit. Like and then it. he continued, Harry shook his head and his big eyes were wide and curious. Heaven is a beautiful place where we can be with God. Wow, it remains unclear whether the piece is a work of parody or a legitimate attempt to rewrite the series with the Christian bent. That's a good point. That could be just someone like on the internet trolling saying I'm Grace Ann and like from the perspective of this like really Christian yeah. housewife and it could be entirely a joke. That'd be really That funny. would make more sense to <laughs> it's me. Like the only, yeah, it's the only way it makes sense to me. I can't imagine that. Like. <laughs> Grace Ann has published eight chapters totaling 8,405 8, words so far. That's immensely impressive if it weren't so creepy. But uh, yeah, we're going to go to a quick commercial break and we'll be right back right after this.
of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, in Radio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is in Ravio.com. Hey, this is Chris and Les Jake, and if in Ravio.com spots you at an event wearing this bracelet, they will give you $100. Hey, guys, this is Kyle Melnick over at The Weekly Show. Be sure to vote for me over at Facebook.com slash in Ravio Weekly. back with the stupidest news story of the week. A British cafe is testing the limits of good taste in the morning with a hibernator, a breakfast dish packing a whopping 8,000 calories. Mark Winder, owner of the Bear Grylls Cafe in Congleton, England, said that only 20 customers have so far attempted to take on the hibernator, which weighs 7 pounds and amounts to nearly four times the daily recommended calorie intake for an adult man. Wow. Winder said no one has yet succeeded in finishing the dish, which he requires di diners to sign waivers before attacking. This is serious. My God, you have to sign a waiver? I guess. So it's like an insurance form in case yeah. you die from eating it. Look at that milk. You could put that like in an IV at a hospital. Wow. And then, oh, Matt mentioned it that they have uh, tomatoes and Bonnie said it. Tomatoes and um, mushrooms. mushrooms in the center to moisten it because it's just so. It is. It's like a bread like volcano, and then you have all these little things in the inside. That looks awful. And this is from a British cafe. This isn't in the uh, U.S.? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. England. I thought it'd be from like KFC or something. Yeah, right. Oh my god. Oh, no. They call it the hibernator because if anyone completes it, they'll have to sleep for a year. That's what the owner <laughs> that said. Makes... <laughs> and it, it includes uh, four fried eggs, four strips of bacon, eight sausages, four hash browns, a four egg cheese omelet that's on top of the fried eggs. Um, of course. Four waffles, four pieces of toast, four pieces of fried bread, four pieces of black pudding, two ladles of beans, tomatoes, and mushrooms. There's french fries in there too. Oh yeah, sure, why not? And that milkshake is 2,000 calories to wash it all down. The 2,000 calorie, I used to work at the Cheesecake Factory, which is like the most unhealthy restaurant in the US. Is it? And nothing even came close to, what was it, 8,000 for the? 8,000. Oh my god, it's like when KFC came out and with that double down. And then a 2,000 Yeah, just milkshake. The, the milkshake comes, is that part of the meal? Like that's like the yeah, package you have to thing? That's all nuts! Oh my god, I'd never finish it, but I kind of want to try it. That's like at least two loaves of bread. Yeah, that's like a three person meal. That's two steady it is. That's like three, three solid, <laughs> like, like full loaves of bread surrounded with like three weeks worth of like breakfast. That's, that's nuts. I, like at the end of it with the black pudding and it's like, and then they're like, like we need just food. random mushrooms yeah. and tomatoes. So we need to fill it out. Let's just like huck stuff into it. Yeah. That is absolutely nuts. I wonder if you have to pay for it if you finish it. Probably not. I mean, again, they only said 20 people finished it, which No, he said it. 20 people attempted it. Oh, attempted it? Yeah. It's only 20 people actually tried it. I don't know if I didn't say it. if anyone actually finished it. That's a good point. Oh my god, it is terrifying. I thought 20 people actually made it. And I'm like, who on this earth <laughs> I has like the ability to do that? And then french fries, like, that's a random mix to the breakfast. Yeah, on the inside of it, nonetheless. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Very well, weird. Not going there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back after this. 
All right, well, that didn't go awful. No, it wasn't too bad. Good. Not bad for a first show. We had some fun, a couple of weird stories. I would have liked if we'd gotten away from the poop and penis references. Yeah, like the well, show this we'll see season. next time. But yeah, maybe we can get a little cleaner next time. Probably not. Like, <laughs> probably not at all. But, you know, thank you for joining us. We have uh, a great week lined up next time. And be sure to vote for us at facebook.com slash... In Ravia Weekly. In Ravia Weekly. Same yeah. thing. Facebook.com, in Ravia.com. Be sure to vote. We're awesome. You want to keep us around. Everyone else is going to be terrible. I'm just predicting. Yeah. Um, but thanks so much for <laughs> stopping by. And don't forget to vote for us for your favorite show on the page. And um, anything else you want to close with besides thank you so much? I think you said it all. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you to the band, the Weekly Show Band over there. You guys have been awesome. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining. Transmission of lice occurs from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like catching a cold or a flu. You have guaranteed peace of mind in every bottle of Got Lice because all of our products are completely natural. And organic. But strong enough to cover all your lice removal needs while being safe and effective. Our professional technicians are specially trained with our exclusive proven technique to successfully comb out head lice. We come right to your home at your convenience. Whenever you want us. We bring everything needed to perform a successful and complete comb out while eliminating your head lice. And we leave you with our exclusive complimentary products to use for the next 10 days following our treatment for free our technicians also check all family members who have been exposed to lice please visit us on our website today at gotlice.co or feel free to call 24 hours a day seven days a week at 646-257-0121 
For over 60 years, Hanson Carpet has put the customer first, providing only the finest quality products and service. And Hanson Carpet is so much more than just carpet. We also carry a wide selection of window blinds and shades, and our licensed and insured technicians can service any of your flooring or window covering needs. Browse our huge selection of laminate, carpet, linoleum, vinyl, and tile. Stop by our showroom today or visit HansonCarpet.com. No matter what your project, Hanson Carpet has got you covered. The world of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, in radio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is in radio.com. InRavio.com wants you. InRavio provides the best in TV, film, post-production, and so much more. And we're growing. Right now, we're looking for a team of pros that can join us. So what are you waiting for? We need show hosts, production crew, marketing gurus, sales experts, audio engineers, lighting, visual effects, and camera crews. We want you. Go to InRavio.com backslash join the team. 